So in today's video we're going to take a look at the divan bed warehouse um, bed and see what that's like. So we've got the cream coloured headboard and bed and we've got the thousand pocket memory foam mattress which is called the luxury thousand pocket memory foam mattress. That claims to be manufactured in the UK with aloe vera, apparently. It's a very comfortable mattress. Um, upon sleeping on it, it is very, very comfortable. Unlike some of the other mattresses that we've tried out. So we'll take you for a walk around to have a look at it. This is the headboard. It's not crushed velvet. You can select a crushed velvet one. This one sort of, I'd say it's in between. It's got a very light sort of finish that you can get that effect with. But it's not as extreme as crushed velvet. And obviously being a divan bed, they're a lot um, taller than your average bed say like the low ikea ones and stuff like that this is a lot higher so it'll have a lot more of a nicer finish when you're sleeping up high on it um so yeah as you know divan beds come in two parts so left and right and you assemble the feet on the bottom to give you the clearance to open the drawers so these were secured by this material which i haven't removed yet drawers are okay You've got like a pine finish on the inside. Got quite a bit of depth to it. I mean, I could probably use that. We've got the four one. Um, you can choose whether to have no drawers, two or four. And we've got the four one here. Um, so plenty of space in there to put your clothing if you wanted to. Use it as a chest of drawers or plenty of room for DVDs if you wanted to use it for that. The only thing I will say is the corners on these are all buckled and smashed up. Um, again, not a major, major issue, but... Oh, and they're plastic as well, they're not metal. Not a major issue, but it might be for some people that care about quality. Um, we did bring this to their attention, and they said they'd send some out, but we haven't had any yet, so fingers crossed that they do. Um... But other than that, oh, the other thing we noticed as well is down here, there are quite a few imperfections sort of poking out of the material. Not sure what that could be. It looks like wood or something like that, just spearing its way through. Um, but other than that, you know, not much else. You can see like a bit of an imprint from the wood panels behind. But, you know, it's... It's not a major thing if you don't care about that kind of stuff. Um, the feet are not that strong. They are just plastic. So I've got some here to show you. So basically, when we were fitting our feet, um, they broke. Multiple feet broke. They were very brittle. You couldn't get them in and they just snapped. So we asked for some new ones to be sent out. And Divan Bed Warehouse were very good at sending them out with a driver. Um, but again, they are only plastic and they do tarnish very, very easily. They haven't got the best finish on them. They're just literally, um, like a chrome finished plastic. And we actually got given the feet with these sort of crown attachments already on there. Um, which meant that we had to tip the bed upside down, put the feet in, and then somehow try to prise that in to the uh you know the bottom of the bed and actually these are supposed to be separate um when we first got the feet these were separate you're supposed to hammer that bit in to create your hole and then you put that in and you've got to apply either even weight or flip the bed around attach them underneath i found this the best way and then put some gentle pressure and you'll hear it slightly drop on so i'm hoping that these hold up um because it's literally a metal rod into a plastic base so you, you do have to be somewhat careful but they should be okay now that they're on so that's the feet if you do manage to get that off so basically 
you have to try to prise it off at some time um, if you want to get that on flush. So we had to prise some of ours off um, to release some of the feet. But it's, it's again, it's not a big issue. So let's see the mattress. I think this one's rating was medium firm, I believe. Um, it's not too firm, which is nice, but it's not too soft either. Um, if you're a side sleeper, this will be nice for you. If you sleep on your back, this will also be nice for you. We've tested both ways and both ways seem to be fine. Um, again, drawers on this side. You do have to, I'll show you around here. When you first get your bed, you might want to take the drawer out. Because inside, there's a lot of material here. So, it's a lot of like black material just scattered about. And that's just sort of like the base of the bed. It's all sort of messily put in there. It's not even, you know, stapled down or anything like that. It's just there. So you might want to take the drawer out, clean that up a bit. So that your drawer can slide in properly. So if you manage to do that, see how it's got no obstructions now again not a major thing but it's just silly little things that you know could be polished up a little bit for the end user experience um, and so long as there's nothing in the way when you put the drawer back in it should slide in effortlessly so there's that um, now let's talk about the headboard again so the first headboard we, we received I'll just go grab it now so this is the first headboard we received and as you can see it's got a lot of marks all over it so there's a mark there there's a mark there there's a mark there there's a mark there and then there's like even a greeny style mark there and and even some here it's like maroon colored marks blue colored marks literally multicolored marks all over it when you look from a distance you don't see it that much but when you come within at least two foot you can see all of these marks and again to some people it might not be that important but if you've just paid hundreds of pounds for a bed you don't expect this so i don't know what that is um when we contacted them they said it might be threads that's definitely not threads it's definitely some sort of stainage it looks like a pen or something like that um and this is the problem um yeah you don't expect your headboard to come like this you want to just get your bed assemble it have a good night's sleep especially if you've been having a crap sleep but we've run into some problems so obviously the feet was one problem that got solved pretty quick still waiting for, to solve the corners of the uh, drawer problem and then the headboard they sent out another headboard um which is that one over there but when that one came it had mold on it so it must have been sitting it was in plastic it was fully wrapped in plastic nicely and it had these little corners on like that one does over there these little edges there's even like this mold stuff on the material and that was on both of the edges both top and at the bottom still got to find a way to clean that off and it was actually damaged as well you can see where the material sort of gone back to the wood <coughs> Um, that being said, this headboard is a lot cleaner. There's absolutely no pen marks on it at all. It's exactly the way, you know, it should have been. Um, but yeah, this, this ain't good. So we have contacted them about that and we're still waiting to hear their response. I'll show you what it's like if obviously you're not going to be sitting on it like this. You're going to put a sheet, fit a sheet over it. But if you are going to sit on it like this, I just want to show you how it kind of reacts to your body again it's, it's not going to be protruding that much I don't think if you have a fitted sheet on it would be more like that but just in case anyone was curious it does have handles as well and these are good handles, they don't rip. Like some of the other mattresses we've tested that have just gone like that and it's just ripped off. This is a pretty good handle. 
So well done on that handle. Um, headboard though, once it's attached, it's literally just two little plastic screws that go in the back of the, well, like these round things, they go in the back of this. You select the height, so if you wanted to mimic that whole thing that they had on the website, you can jack it up. You could probably jack it up even higher than that if you wanted to, but we've just got it there. Um, it's that problem there. <laughs> so you're gonna, <laughs> you you can't have it like this. That's it's ridiculous. Um, then that's the bed is pushed back. I mean, I can't push it back no more because if you've got a skirting board, then you can only go up to the skirting board. Obviously, you can't go up to the wall. There's nothing provided to stop this see down there from Haglin you just have to get creative I guess and come up with a solution yourself by the looks of it so um, I guess foam or something like that if you get some foam pads of sticky backs you could put one each side or a series of them along the headboard and that would stop that it would just cushion it a bit because <laughs> yeah that's self-explanatory you don't want that happen The dips in between the bed are quite dippy. Um, when you put the sheet on, you can obviously feel them. Um, when you're sitting on the bed, for anyone wondering, you can, you like do sink into it a little bit. But it's not a problem. I quite, you know, I, I don't really mind it. Um, I know some of the other beds don't have this. They're more a straighter sort of composition, or they've got like the ribs in them. Um, but this, you will feel. Um, but it's it's not. It's not a problem for me. Um, so yeah. And then let's have a look at the sides. It has like the air vent. I think that is an air vent. It's got holes in it. Um, I don't know. Some of the threads coming out. Again I haven't even used the bed yet. But you see how it's got these threads going down. This one goes to there. And then I've obviously lost this one already. <laughs> He's gone already. So now I've just got like this blank piece, again, <laughs> minor things, but, you know, yeah, more threads down here that I'm losing. It's coming out, so lost that kind of pleating now. Over time, I'm guessing then, these are all just going to come out and I'll be left with this. Maybe that's just, I'm guessing that's just in there for design anyway, just to make the mattress look a bit more fancier. I'm guessing these serve absolutely no purpose to be coming out that quickly. Um, so, in general, I've had a good night's sleep on this bed. Um, in all honesty, it's been quite comfortable, the mattress. And the bed itself, haven't used it for storage yet, just because of some of the problems needing to be sorted out. But I think now, you know, I can really give it a proper try um, and see how it goes. There was one other thing that I wanted to point out to you guys about the ordering process. And I will just quickly get my laptop to explain this. Okay, so I've got my laptop. So this is what I wanted to show you guys. This is what the website looks like. Okay, so excuse the shaky hand while I'm recording this. So I'm recording with one hand. So you'll navigate to their website. You'll check out Divan Beds. You'll see a selection of beds here. Hopefully that's in focus. I apologize if it isn't. Um, so yeah, you'll, you'll see all the different beds. I think our one personally was this one here. So we'll click through. And here you can choose the size of the bed. This one in particular, I believe is a five foot king. Doesn't seem like a king, but it is a king. And you'll get presented with a range of colours here. I believe that this one that I'm showing you is the... So have a look, Cream Naples, that's the one. So if you select Cream Naples, this is what you'll be getting. It's Cream Naples. Yeah, it's a very nice colour. Very versatile, very fresh looking. Um, and then there's obviously other outlandish ones like this. And other nice colours that you can get. But what I want to talk to you about is the picture here. So the picture of the bed, if you can see it, this is supposed to be my bed um, but if you look at the headboard here one the size of that headboard looks very tall compared to this and if you look down the side here 
you can see that the headboard goes from up there all the way down the back of the bed to the base. There doesn't seem to be a break in that headboard, so they're insinuating by that picture that you get a headboard that's that tall. Because there, look there, there's no break in the headboard behind. You see that grey? You check out my headboard, and it's nothing like that. You just get a headboard, and you have to attach it on the back, and then you've got all this space going on here. So look, that is not the headboard that is displayed on the picture. My headboard, in theory, should start there and go all the way down to here, but it doesn't. Um, I did question them on this. I said I wasn't happy about it because I'm buying a product, looking at the picture, and I'm not getting that. According to the Van Bed Warehouse, they say that they put this picture on there for advertising purposes only to show you what the bed could look like, to show you the style of the headboard. And that, in fact, you're not getting that. So, I mean, take what you want from it, but unfortunately, it's becoming quite common for online retailers to do this sort of madness by advertising things that you might not necessarily be getting or claiming to have certain guarantees or protection that, again, you're not seeing the whole picture of um, without all the additional kind of provisos, but... Um, yeah, I mean, this is this is what you, you tend to expect from buying things that you don't see in advance. This is kind of like a new age that we're in, where you buy things online and then you try them out sort of thing. Um, be aware, though, if you do order a bed from here, you won't be getting a refund unless the product comes to you damaged. Um, you can't like order a bed and then say... It doesn't look like this. I want to send it back because they'll say no refund. So um, that's what you want to be mindful of. Actually know exactly what you're getting into before you go and make a purchase. Which is why it's good to watch reviews, I guess. Um, and again, I try to do the reviews that haven't been done on the internet. And obviously come from a very honest perspective. But um, yeah, saying that, the bed feels nice to sleep on. It does the job, you know. Um, don't know what's going to happen with the situation with the headboard, one being mouldy, one being stained, but again, maybe it's just, I don't know, I don't know, but that's what it is. Um, so yeah, that's the king size five foot mattress with the cream Naples colour. Um, and I hope that this has helped you to kind of clear up any sort of um, questions that you had about this bed in particular. It's just a quick review, nothing too in-depth, but um, let me know if you have any questions as usual. And uh, someone will obviously probably have the same sort of issue that you're facing, and you can probably discuss it down below. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed for more videos like this, and see you in the next one.